Mundo. Bună ziua, ne aflăm la Târgul Apicul de la Craiova, ediția 2017. Îl avem alături de noi pe Managing Director de la Advanced Science, producătorul Hive Alive. Hello, Dara Scott. Thank you for being here and welcome to Romania. Thanks very much. It's great to be here. It's uh, quite a show you have going on here. I'm glad uh, you have a good impression on uh, what's happening here. Uh, and uh, thank you for accepting to answer some of uh, my questions, like a small interview uh, to tell uh, the Romanian uh, beekeepers what, uh, what you produce and uh, what uh, they can gain uh, by applying Hyperlife in uh, the Romanian uh, apiaries. My pleasure. Uh, pentru început, uh, puteți să ne spuneți uh, cum v-a venit ideea creierii acestui produs? Uh, sure. Um, I, I was looking for something for, uh, for bees that would help them, that would help them keep them strong, a natural product that would help keep bees strong. Uh, there are lots of products out there that showed uh, short-term effects that react to a problem as opposed to a preventative that help bees keep them strong and healthy the whole time. Uh, so I started looking at the different natural ingredients that could have an effect on the bees, a positive effect on the bees. And I'm from Ireland. Uh, Ireland is surrounded by the sea and the sea has lots of seaweeds. And Ireland and maybe Canada are the two, two top places in the world for seaweed research and using seaweeds for animal feeds. Um, seaweed has always been used um, in Ireland for, for, for animals either as, a, as, a, as fertilizers or as animal feeds, added to animal feeds. In fact, we use seaweeds for uh, the coal. If we have a coal, we'll boil, boil up certain seaweeds and it helps uh, boost the immune system for the coal. We have a culture for seaweed. Yeah, yeah, we have we have a strong culture of seaweed. We have whole islands that are, are basically created by seaweeds and allowed to, to, to farm on seaweeds with seaweeds because they've used them properly. Uh, so as a result of that, we have the top researchers in the world on seaweeds. And seaweeds are now used in animal feeds uh, for, for antifungal, antibacterial, uh, viral, antiviral, uh, immune stimulatory, in a major way, the point that they can actually place antibiotics and other medicines that, that animals can be farmed organically using only seaweed, seaweed extracts in particular, not just taking a whole seaweed and putting it into a, a it's seaweed extracts from particular plants that have particular actives in those seaweeds. Uh, also the, the polysaccharides in seaweeds, which are complex sugars, are shown to help protect the gut, gut lining and they also can be what's called a, a prebiotic for bees. So, so, so a prebiotic is, is a food that the good bacteria likes to live off, so it encourages good bacteria in the cup. There's a whole load of reasons why seaweed is so popular. And, and yeah, it's really it worked really well. It's interesting and uh, mostly for us, uh, we don't have a culture for, uh, for seaweed here in, uh, in Romania, but uh, it would be interesting to start uh, using things that uh, you developed there and uh, uh, things that uh, to, to, do this, uh, to have these effects on the hive. Yeah, and, and of course the other advantage of it is that the bee pathogens, the things that attack the bee, uh, they would never have encountered seed before. Other things they might have encountered, other, other natural remedies they might have encountered in real life before. This is a new pathogens from wouldn't be used to, to, to defending off the actives of the seed. Therefore it's coming out from a new angle. So it's like, I suppose, the opposite of antibiotic resistance. Okay. Acum că înțelegem mai bine mediul, mediul în care a fost creat uh, acest uh, adjuvant, uh, suntem interesați să aflăm uh, uh, principalele lui caracteristici și cum poate ajuta uh, apicultorul și, în principal, familia de albine. Sure. Um, so, high life, all about keeping colonies healthy, protecting colonies, keeping disease levels low in the colony. So, we have done lots of trials, lots of data to produce, uh, to show uh, that basically when you use hive alive, because you're keeping disease levels uh, low, you're keeping uh, the colonies strong, the colonies create more bees, more population, and more honey. Uh, this, this has been done in numerous trials in numerous countries, 
uh, showing the same thing, uh, keeping the uh, legend seems around the low. Uh, with other data to show how, um, for instance, uh, talk food levels and foul food levels are kept low as well because the bees are strong, able to stand well against the cold. So it's important to understand that hive life isn't a medicine, it's not a, 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 or it's not a quick fix either. A lot of people you know, tend to react and use a product that, that might have a, a short term effect, but isn't necessarily good in the long term for the bees. Hive Alive is something that you use consistently and you get consistently better results with. Um, all our trials are based over sort of a year, year and a half. And it's within those trials where you're seeing that the big population increases, the big honey increases, the lower mortality uh, and the lower disease levels. Uh, and it's the continued use, it's basically keeping your, health, your bees in, in top condition at all times, is what we're doing with Hive Alive. So of course there's lots of other uses for Hive Alive as well. Um, Another advantage of Hive Alive is the fact that uh, when you use it, the syrup doesn't ferment. So that gives you a longer feeding window so you can feed closer to the winter time. You don't have to worry about winter comes quick and they haven't sealed off all the, uh, all, all the, uh, the syrup. They haven't capped it all off. But it's not going to go bad in the hive. Uh, it's still high moisture because it won't go mouldy, which means the bees won't get sick eating it. Not only that, uh, if you don't use up all the syrup, you can uh, next year in the spring, you can it'll keep, it'll keep for we found over six months uh, the syrup will keep and you can use it then in the spring or if you don't use it all in the spring you can use it then all the time. Um, I actually use uh, syrup in a little spray bottle and use it like smoke especially in the, in the, uh, in the spring. Uh, it's, it's good for the bees uh, and of course they eat the hive alive as well which is good uh, and also using spray uh, when you're introducing new queens uh, helps to mask the pheromones, which is good for, for inducing the queen and not, not getting the, the bee colony all defensive. And another reason, again, why you might use a spray bottle is if foundations, sometimes older foundations, the, uh, the older wax, the bees can be slow to draw on this to make out foam. Uh, the, when you spray on the hive alive with syrup, they're much quicker to start drawing it out and work a lot quicker. La final, mulțumesc pentru uh, detaliile pe care le-am aflat despre produs uh, și am vrea să știm părerea dumneavoastră despre uh, ce ați găsit aici în uh, România și în special despre târgul de la Craiova. Da, am avut un bun timp. Vreau să spun că România este un loc foarte prieten. Știu că, în urmă, când am venit pe plan, am văzut că oamenii pe plan toți vor văzut că nu 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 văzut not something you see very often on planes anymore. Uh, here's this super all being very, very kind, very good. Uh, and it's been a great time. I'm really impressed with the, with the uh, scale of the beekeeping uh, and the interest the beekeepers have in, in, in new products and, 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 and alternative ways of improving their beekeeping. And it's very impressive to see. Thank you very much for you being here and uh, your presence and affairs. Uh, we also appreciate uh, you coming and uh, I hope we can see each other in the future for uh, similar events in Romania also. I hope so too, thanks very much.